Generative AI technologies could turbocharge cyber crimes like phishing attacks, which poses new challenges in cybersecurity. Joining us now with who is best positioned to win the AI arms race, Michael Furtick, founder of Heroic Ventures, which invests in AI robotics and machine learning. Michael, great to have you with us. Hey, Alyssa, how are you? If, if hackers and scammers are, are, you know, mostly trying to impersonate or or make an individual believe that they know them in order for them to hand over information. I mean, I would think that AI is a really powerful tool. And you would be right. <laughs> right now, the scammers, the hackers, the attackers have gotten a jump on the defenders for sure. They are quickly adopting and adapting to the new technologies in generative AI. They are using their technologies to enhance their attacks. I think phishing is a very good example. Uh, we're all familiar with the concept of phishing. Someone might send you an email and say, hey, click here to fix your account. And then if you do, your computer could be compromised and that could lead to a financial loss or some other kind of uh, com compromising of your company's assets. Well, AI can generate those emails more believably, more often, less repetitively than ever before. Also, you can imagine a perhaps even more scary scenario where deep fakes uh, might be used to impersonate your CEO's voice or your CFO's voice. They might listen to some speeches or some interviews here on TV of a CEO or a CFO and then very, uh, very believably imitate that CEO's voice, leave you a voicemail, a, a deep fix voicemail and say, hey, look, you know, uh, so and so, I need you to go to this link and wire some money real quick or uh, come over here and send some details about our, 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 our company. Uh, including even just business details, and then they've then they've struck a win against you. So yeah. right now we are seeing we are seeing companies uh, that are offering defense tools and have offered defense tools for a while respond. They're offering new suites of technologies. Google's announced one. Microsoft announced one. Uh, a bunch of other companies have announced one. I should probably say that I'm a shareholder in many of these companies, um, as you can imagine, and uh, public and private. And you're going to see a lot of tools that are coming up to combat the effects of AI that are being used by hackers, but for sure right now the hackers have the jump. And by the way, the winners are going to be the arms dealers, right? They always are. I think Bill Gates said in 2004, 2004, I think he was on stage at Davos, if I'm not mistaken, he said, uh, we're going to have the end of spam within two years. That's 2006. Well, you and I know very well that spam has continued to flourish and the weapons to fight the increasing sophisticated attacks just need to be upgraded all the time. So the arms dealers, the the thoroughbred uh, cyber security companies are often going to be the winners um, generation after generation is my my basic view. What's funny is that that, that scenario that you outlined with the CFO, uh, you know, some, some sort of fake voice, it, that actually happened in Europe where there was a fake yes. voicemail, right? The CFO left yeah. supposedly the fake C CFO and somebody actually wired money out of the company's account. So it's already happened even prior to these leaps and in, yeah. bounds advances in, in generative AI. Uh, even aside from sort of the, this aspect of it, Michael, there's also the use of generative AI um, in coding, and, and this is, I think, is maybe an underappreciated aspect of, of AI, and that is the help in the back to code things. And I would imagine that that's a huge tool for hackers as well. When you mentioned the arms race and the arms dealers winning, who is best positioned at this point in, in handling these emerging threats? So you're right, so, so AI is very good at coding. AI is generally good at coding uh, by accident. So generative AI models, the big, the big models like OpenAI and so forth that are very famous that are on everyone's lips, the GPT models, these LLMs, these large language models have basically learned how to code by accident. That might sound funny to you, but they're very good at doing words and essays and sentences and paragraphs. And some subset of those are coding expressions and coding methods and coding functions. So they've become very good at doing certain kinds of coding activities. And some of those coding activities could be used by scammers and hackers to insert or create at scale a lot more malware, for example, that might live on your machine and find things in your machine or even generate emails from your machine, right? Which is really, really scary. Um, look, in terms of the winners, I, I, again, I think that the, the we used to say in business, maybe Joe Kernan would still say in business, maybe you would say in business to Melissa, that no matter what happens, the lawyers always win. Well, uh, it turns out that no matter what happens in, in cyber, the cyber arms dealers will win. And so some of these are very big companies already that are some of the biggest in the world, the FANG companies. 
and some are like Sentinel One, where I'm a shareholder, uh, mm -hmm. uh, or CrowdStrike, some others that are very, very big. So I think you could imagine also a new raft of companies, right, in, in the Silicon Valleys of the world and venture capital communities. I think we're all looking for companies that will use AI to combat cyber AI attacks. Uh, you can probably uh, bet your bippy that we're all looking for those companies. And I think you're going to see the birth of new companies and you know geniuses uh, generating new technologies to to deflect and counterattack right. and to uh, do penetration testing of of, uh, uh, of of potential potentially vulnerable companies and so forth. There's a lot at stake, and the hackers are very very smart. Some state sponsored and some just state sympathetic, and some just out for, out to make a buck. And they need they need to be defeated uh, over and over again. Sure.